Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sing. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, sit hard, kindly smash that subscribe button and turn on your notification so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much, and I am sending a very big shout out to you all for the support and love you all give me. I am truly grateful. Thank you all so much. So today we'll be talking something very important, and it's about black man who actually came up. I think everyone is actually fed up with the things going on and all that how black people are, are being treated and the rest of it. And he is taking his time. He say, I am over Kumbo, yeah, like, you know, back on a special level, it's time for us to wake up as people and uh, come out and uh, do what we are supposed to do. And he is trying to say that the people that are doing this to you, I ain't ever backing up anytime soon because the way you ask, like, if you look around the things that are happening, the police brutality, they were lying, like everything, systemic racism, everything that is designed to work against black people, like it is never ever going to stop. And if you think it's going to stop, you are probably playing yourself and all of that. And he is also calling that it's time for everyone of us, like the black people, to collectively come together and look for a way to make things right and all that. And he also talked like, if you need to heal, heal. If you need to, like, you know, whatever you need to do, deconstruct and all that, do all that. But the time is right now, not tomorrow and the rest of it. And he also went for that to, like, you know, appreciate black women for all the job they have been doing and, like, they have yeah, they have been doing and still doing to this very moment how hard they have fought, especially with voting and the rest of it. And still, everybody looked down on them because it is only African Americans that always call out their women for no just reason. I absolutely, the message he actually shared is a welcome one, and I am in support of it as collectively we can do this and, like, you know, uh, we can do this and come out great. And uh, I absolutely enjoyed listening to this. And uh, I am just going to roll this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. And let me know what you all think in the comment section. And shut up. Let me roll that clip. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I'm I'm starting to enter in, into that revenge stage. Not in quality. Revenge. We've been getting gaslight this whole time in this country. Like, they gaslight us every turn they could get. They hide our history and then tell us that to get over it. Like, how our people is keep on getting beaten by law enforcement or getting harassed by law enforcement because somebody can allow people to go fishing or allow to enjoy their life for being black and everything like that. They end affirmative action thinking that it's going to piss us off, which they did because they're trying to erase the history of the affirmative action. I'm pissed about that. Remember how upset they were about changing, uh, putting Heather Tubman's face on the $20 bill? You see how upset they were about that. The redlining. They redline our communities and everything. And then also when we want to start our own thing, they get mad at us and saying that we want to separate ourselves with us. And then they try to... I'm just so mad at these people. Like, they do everything they can to control our narrative so they can control us. And then they tell you that if you don't like the country, move out. No. Why? I mean, our ancestors have built this country, have, I mean, their bodies are in the soil of this ground, and they got the nerve to tell us that we need to move out. And then these people got the nerve to tell us what racism is and isn't. Like, who the hell are you guys to tell us what that is? Who the hell are you? They are still lynching us. And then when you tell them no, because you don't want to do something they want to do, they get all so upset. Like you should be honored. You should be honored that they came up and asked you to do something with them. Like you have the nerve, the nerve. I just don't understand why these people still believe that they are better than us solely because of the skin color. Like. We have seen time and time and time again through history, through the news, through, I mean, articles, sports, science, education, that we have dominated in every field out here that this country has put out there for us. And they still got this, this narrative in this mind that, that we are less than them. And these politicians, these elected officials, they are just blatantly racist now. I mean, they just calling what it is 
the dog whistles are gone and everything like that. And and people is still in society is trying to gaslight us, like act, telling us that we're not seeing what we're actually seeing. Like, and for the people that do want to unite, I don't really trust them because I'm thinking this is going to be like the feminist movement, like back in the, the 1920s all over again. Like, you remember how Ida B. B. Wells got treated. I believe a lot of melanated people need to study that feminist movement, especially when it comes down to um, how white women and black women were treated, uh, how they did the work together. And you will see a common theme here. Like they used the black woman to to be the front line, but it was never about the, the black woman's cause or anything. It was all about the white woman's cause. I just don't know who I, who I can trust anymore who is not melanated. Like, I mean, I get, I got a good judge of character when it comes down to people, especially people of melanated side. Um, I, the non-melanated, I don't know who I could trust anymore. Like, they all have done dirt. They have done dirt. In my eyes, they all have done dirt. And if they haven't done dirt, they've been pretty silent about it pretty silent or tell you that it's not about the group it's about the individual and then they go back to their favorite talking point which is Dr. King's I have a dream speech judge me by the content of my character man and people we're going to have to make a decision and I think we're going to have to make a decision in a year or two of what we want to do as a collective because I think whatever decision we make is going to set us up for the next hundred years um we know what the history is. We know what they're trying to do to us. So we got, I mean, Malcolm X says by any means necessary. So we got to get the stuff done by any means necessary. So I'm thinking we at that stage now. So I think as a collective, we have to decide what we want to do. Um, because these people are not gonna, just going to give it to us. We're going to have to, we're going to have to do something to get it. So I think we're at that stage now, so we're going to have to start thinking or start coming our minds together to see what we want to do um, and see how we could build a better America for our people um, in the future. Because I'd be damned if I'm going to let my grandkids live through this like I have to go through. I'm not going to do that. You shouldn't either. I want to talk about a couple more things on this on this topic that I posted this morning. I wanted to find what the collective is so we could be on the same page with the what I mean collective. To me, the collective are people in our in our communities that uh, has broken out of that uh, that matrix. Uh, what matrix? The matrix of racism. The matrix of uh, sexism, uh, capitalism, all the isms that know, they know about all the isms and how the isms are working and can see it from 50,000 feet, can see it in that scope level. So, um, nothing, nothing triggers uh, a person in the collective on, on that front. With me, um, growing up, I always had the idea of being an individual, knowing that if I do the work and get to a certain position, I could always turn back around and reach down. Uh, to the collective and bring those people up. But knowing how the game is rigged, I knew that and because I, I got to the top in positions before I got to the top positions. And the moment I reached back down and get people who look like me, who thinks like me, who has the same upbringing as me, it caused a lot of problems with the with the higher ups or um, people who who own the business. Um, they didn't like that so much, which tells me that these companies were either doing a some type of uh, quota to say uh, because they I don't know they like too many of us in a certain space or a certain position or whatever or they I don't know they you, you know people will always throw that affirmative action card at you too thinking that the only reason you got the position is because of your skin color not that you are qualified or sometimes overly qualified for the position and um in a company or or business that you're doing work with just need to check a box which leads me back to the original point of that, that post that I posted this morning. Um, we as a collective need to have a game plan um, before the 2024 election, during the 2024 election, and after the 2024 election 
um, and also the year 2025, because th these guys are coming in with layers and layers and layers. Um, and I think that uh, they're just, and I, I think this is an extension burst that we're going through right now, but knowing how this country works, especially how they did us in the civil rights movement, um, I just know, I just know they're going to try to throw another wrinkle in there. So I think we need to get on top of this before, so we can uh, suffocate whatever movement they try to counter with this. Um, um, I think they always, what I always notice, and I think in the civil rights movement, they try to control that narrative. And I think a lot, if we go back to somebody who grew up in that era and talked about the era with them and, and, and discuss that, I'm pretty sure their idea was, uh, they want to have equal rights, but they want to have equal access or uh, or, act or ability to um, form their own towns, their own cities, their own communities. And and I think what the country did was that you know what, okay, we're gonna we're gonna uh, end segregation, we're gonna have integration. And I think the country and uh, liberal white folks and conservative white folks decided that you know what, we're just gonna integrate these people and have, have them come into our business. The problem be and what I noticed that is. Uh, if you notice, if you do some little research on that, during that time uh, when they did that is you start seeing marketing, um, marketing ploys or marketing research or marketing videos on how to advertise to black folks, you know, and they try to they tell they told these salespeople the behavior of what we look like and how we are, how we do things. They conditioned us at that time to um, that we had to prove ourselves to be the. We, I think we had the idea back then that we had to prove ourselves that we had it in order to prove to them that we had it so we could be uh, equal footing. And what I realized, especially in the last two years, is I can have the same things these guys have. I could be to have the same status they have, but they will never give me the same. They won't give me the respect. I will never be in the, the seat at that table. Only reason I will, only way I could get a seat at that table is if I have that Clarence Thomas thought process, which I don't. I don't have. What I want my melanated brothers and sisters to start thinking that this country, United States, is ours too, if not more, because our ancestors have done everything, everything to keep this country what it is today and save this country. Our black women have voted in a way to save our country in a certain way. Our black women have also put their life on the line to, for this country. Um, they did it for their, their families, they did it for their communities and everything, but they also did it for this country as well. And we need to give them that respect for that. And leads me to the next point that it's time for uh, black women leadership in this country. We need to start getting black women leadership in this country. And I'm not saying that to just pandering or anything like that. I'm not doing it to get clout. I'm not doing this to get more followers. I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm just being authentically me and telling you what we need to do as a community. In order for us to do that, though, we got to deconstruct our minds away from the white supremacy thought process, the capitalistic thought process, all the ism thought process. Um, those isms are not us. Those isms are that 1%, the powers to be. That's not us. Um, as a black man, if you are a black man, we cannot participate in those isms. Those isms do not work for us and will never work for us. Why do I say that black women should lead? They are the most dehumanized group of people in this country and the most highly educated group of people in this country. So you probably want a leader who, who humanize everybody. Like a black woman would humanize everybody because they've been dehumanized so many times and they know what that feels like and they don't want people to experience that this movie gonna have to be grassroots so it's gonna have to be ground level street level community based neighborhood based i mean that's the only way it could work so we can't think top down we can't think about the white house we can't think about congress we got to start from the whoever if we have the election of a garbage man it got to get to that point too so i mean we have to start from the ground up and and dictate our own future um, from the ground up. Um, we will take care of the White House. Um, I think we could take care of Congress, but you guys saw what's going on in Tennessee. You guys see what's going on in Florida. You guys have seen, you, you actually saw what's going on in Iowa uh, this week as well, or last week as well. So 
So I'm asking the collective that we need to change our thought process. Uh, we know what the sauce is. We know how what is what our history is. Um, and I think society in this country wants us to stay in this victim mentality. Um, I think we need to switch off that victim mentality. Uh, we know the history. We know everything, and we don't need to. We don't need any validation from these people anymore. So we need to be focused on solution based, um, solution based, um, and not wait for Republicans, uh, Democrats, liberal to to save us. Which leads me to another point. Um, we gotta stop attacking each other. Um, I mean, I feel like we're the only group of people in this country that tax each other. I don't see, I mean, white folks going to white folks, um, but I won't see any other uh, male group of people doing the same things like we are doing. Um, I almost got sucked into that red pill talk stuff, and I'm glad I never got hooked up in that. If you're a brother and you're getting sucked into that red pill talk, get out, get out, get out, because that's not for you. That system is not built for you, and you will fall on your face. And, and hard. So as a collective, we're gonna need to need to heal. We're gonna have to heal each other as a collective. We're gonna have to heal ourselves as well because this the first step is healing yourself. That means you're gonna have to go through your old, your own trauma and all that stuff as well. Learn the history of your ancestors, and that's how you're gonna break out of this matrix. Um, that's how I did it. So um, you start thinking back, reflecting on life um, as well, and you start seeing patterns. And you know the way we're doing things is not working, so we need to get a we need to get a course correct here. So I'm ready to do whatever we as a collective decide we want to do. Um, I'm down for whatever any means necessary. So it is what it is. We at that point now, and I'm saying we at that point now because these people who are against us are not stopping. They haven't stopped. They keep doing it and in order for them to stop so this we is have all to i got from this video and i really took my time when i saw this video i was like oh yo i love to say things like this you know black people are you know waking or like you know like realizing that there are so many things already going wrong around them and uh you know that you know we have been that peace like you know fresh in peace no war no this no that and all of that but then uh, the more we like keep like you know uh, laying back or and all that like some certain things are going wrong and all that and sometimes I feel like you know there is need for action there is need for like you know I uh, give them back the same energy they have been giving back to you and the rest of it I know it has never been in your history to be violent and all that but there are sometimes like you know you need that violence to like you know make things happen and let them like you know not also take you for granted because they feel like man we can always take this like you know we can always do some certain things to these people and get away with it and the rest of it right and like you know there are some days you wake up like you know like everything about you is like you know awakening and all that like you know you think like we have like you know been so relaxed we have talked especially black women they have talked so much they have fought so much and all that and they think man we are not ready to fight anymore because the people we are fighting for do not even appreciate it and the rest of it and you saw how you also acknowledge black women like you know black women are the most educated and the rest of it and like you know they have actually like be at they have been at the forefront fighting and all that and then eventually some people are going to come back to say that like you know say some nasty things or crazy things bullshit about them and all that sometimes they withdraw but then this is not just any fight for only black women like we need all hands to be on deck like you know we all want to fight for this and get this in the end because like you know when you are fighting you are fighting because you want to get results you are not just fighting because you want to fight the reason for this fight is because like you know you want something tangible to come out of it so i think it's something everybody will just have to come back together and do this together enough of um i see a lot of uh, some black men out there most times like you know trying to bash black women trying to say some nasty things about black women and the rest of it and now let me tell you all something i have said like you know let's say black people in general africans like the rest of it it is very rare for an Afro, like you know, for all the black people that I know to come out and say some certain things about their black women. It's only black, 
it's only african america that i always see that come on the internet to say crazy things about their own women and then when they say it i look back and, and i'm like i am just not ashamed of you i am ashamed of your parents right so i think enough is enough we need to let go of all these things come back as uh, come back and work hand to hand help our black women to achieve what we want to achieve the systemic racism has been there the red lining the rest of it are also ling lingering and the rest of it how are we going to end some certain things and come back as one to fight some certain things that are fighting against us I mean, this is not the fight we need to call somebody and all that. It is something we are collectively going to work together and work towards. Election is coming up and all that. What is going on? What is the... Are you people going to sit, sit down and wait for black women to go out to, like, you know, do the things for you people as they do before? Like, you know, you all always hope on them to do some certain things and eventually come back. No. This is not time for only black. It is time for everybody. All hands must be on the deck. So this message is a welcome message. And I appreciate how he also appreciated black women. And like you heard what he, he was, what he said. He said he is not doing this because he is being, he is not being paid. Of course, you know that. But he is saying it because enough of that combat. Yeah, it is time to wake up. Deconstruct. If you need to deconstruct and get ready. To do the right thing if you need to heal heal and get ready to do the right thing the fight is right now this is where i am going to draw the curtain i appreciate every one of you for the support and see you all in my next video bye for now